Chris, the uh, the first news topic that I want to hit on, because we, we didn't have a ton of time to discuss it last week, but the Big 12 could feasibly poach the Pac-12 here in the next few years. And this is not something that we have discussed on the show yet, but it is something that was in a report. Of course, we discussed a little bit the Dennis Dodd report from last week that was talking about the AAC targeting four uh, Mountain West schools and one Conference USA school. Now, inside of that report, he put this little instance. Big 12 executives are also watching closely as the Pac-12 negotiates a new TV deal in 2024 when its current agreement with Fox and ESPN expires. If the Pac-12 media rights revenue approximates that of the Big 12 at that time, there is a feeling within the Big 12 some Pac-12 schools might be interested in joining. Before we dive too deep, I want to get your thoughts on this. Really interested. I think the Pac-12 schools should... A, that gives them a couple of years to see what the Big 12 is looking like. They can get a pretty good idea of the revenue, and they all have the relationships with uh, all the different TV networks, so they'll know what their contract is and what their value is. If they're valued more than the Pac-12, then I, I could absolutely see them jumping. And here's the places I think that'll jump. There are clear divided lines of state and schools that care about football and states and schools that don't. And the schools that are involved with states that really care about football, I think, are going to be tempted to leave and join a conference where the rest of the conference cares about football. So are we talking basically everybody that is on the, the far coast stays in, in one smaller, you know, Pac-10 league, Pac-8 league, whatever, and basically what I'm saying is Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Colorado, all potential movers to the Big 12? Well, I even wonder about Colorado today. I, I don't know I don't know about the state of Colorado or the University of Colorado and the amount of resources that they're putting into football. They're really proud to be a Pac-12 school. They're really proud to be a member of, of that West Coast conference. And, and and proud to, to care about academics and things of that nature seemingly more than they're proud of football. I could totally see Utah jumping ship and coming U- over Utah, to the Big 12. Ari- Utah, Arizona, Arizona State are, are three that I think are complete gimmies. Complete gimmies. Yeah, that would definitely make sense. That, as bad as Arizona has been, they do have a little bit of momentum, uh, at least with that new coaching staff. No, they're not good on the field this year. Uh, I, I did bring up how the Big Ten could play into this because the Big Ten rights. Well, I'm not saying. Hang on, I'm not saying that the Pac-12 would want them. Okay, I'm I'm saying they would be more enticed to leave and go to a conference that cares about football over staying in a conference that doesn't. I agreed. So Klyovkov has has made it a point to make sure everybody understands that he understands that football is the breadwinner. Right, like that's that's where everybody gets their money from, and he knows it, and he understands that he has to improve that product. However, there are a lot of schools that were fed up and frustrated with the last TV deal that they had, and and of course nobody blames them because Larry Scott. I mean, it, it was a it was an eye opening deal at first, but it was signed for too long and too little money because they got left behind in a big big way, partly because of the Pac twelve network. Now we all assume the Pac twelve network is going away, but the Big Ten rights deal and the Pac-12 rights deal are both done in 2024. If the Big Ten decides, hey, maybe, you know, the SEC went and got Texas and Oklahoma, if the Big Ten decides here in the next, you know, year or so, eh, maybe put out some feelers to USC. Maybe see what UCLA or Washington or whoever is up to. That could certainly play into it. And who would have thought, because this was something that was reported by the Star-Telegram about a week ago, the, the Pac-12 was actually looking at expansion, and the two candidates that they wanted were actually Houston and TCU. Now, if they had gotten both of those, none of this happens, because at that point, the Big, the Big 12 is done. Like there's, there's, yeah, if they would have gotten that, they would have killed the Big 12. And instead, they decide to play nice and just sit back and don't do anything, and now there is a possibility, at least, that in the next few years, 
the Big 12 could be poaching Pac-12 teams and create their own little Super League, which would be very interesting. I will certainly say that. But if that were to happen, if, if, you, if they lose Utah and one other, or both, uh, both Arizona schools or something like that, and it drops back down to a Pac-10, how much value is there for USC, for Oregon, for whoever, unless they were to go out and get a Boise or somebody along those lines? And I, I don't know what the answer to that is. It, it, we, we are seeing a seismic shift in, in the college football landscape, and it is, it is exciting. It is exciting. You got any more thoughts on that? No, I'm I'm just interested to see how this all plays out. I mean, I, I you know, like I said, it, it's going to be funny if the pack if the Big Twelve pulls out of this. You know, maybe not stronger, but but just as strong as they were after Texas and Oklahoma leaves when they were so close to dead, and and some of these other conferences are just crippled, are far weaker than they were when when you know. They all tried to not basically put the final bullet in in the Pac-12 in the Big 12. Yeah, no, I I do agree. Like you you better you better come at them and knock them out when you got a chance. Otherwise, they may be coming for you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.